Hey Gliders, Jack here, it's 2022, and I wanted to give you an update on all the things that we've been releasing at Glide. So the last quarter has been a big one for data sources. We added our most highly requested data source, Airtable, and people have been loving it. We also added Excel so that you can build projects with the spreadsheets hosted in your OneDrive. A lot of people, however, use Excel files locally on their computer. So we've also added the ability to upload files and convert them to Glide tables. You can import any CSV or ODS file and Glide will turn it into a Glide table. This opens up so much possibility in terms of getting your data into Glide from the sources that we don't currently support. And we've added export in the data editor. So if you ever need to get your data out of Glide tables, then you can easily export CSV files from the data editor. Now we've been focusing a lot on making Glide easier to use with your team. This quarter, we introduced new team plans that make managing your team simpler and allow you to be more productive. We also added a new usage screen in your dashboard to make it clearer how your team is using Glide. Teams can now have multiple admins and you can easily invite users to your projects with our new magic links feature. They'll get a simple email with a link and just with one click, they'll be logged into your project, eliminating the need for pins or passwords. And they'll automatically be added to the user profiles table. Our team has been working a lot on the experience and power of working in Glide. So here's a look at just some of the features that we shipped over the last quarter. You can now unpublish your Glide app or page. Unpublishing a project will temporarily disable the live link to your project. You can then republish it whenever you're ready. If you're building a complex project, the data editor can become a pretty confusing space to work in. And column grouping lets you alleviate this visual complexity by grouping columns together. It lets you see groups, collapse them, and creates these neat little folders in the layout editor when you're picking column values. To do this, just write the name of the group followed by a slash before the actual title of the column, and you'll see these groups appear. Instead of always dragging new columns into the place that you want them, you can now right click a column and add a new column to the right. The relation column brings back other rows. Previously, this was just visualized with a single pill that contained a value, usually the first value in your table. This made it really hard to know and see all of the data that was inside of a relation. But now you can preview all of the data that's brought back from a relation. And if it's a multiple relation, you can browse all of those different records and even edit that data. Previously, we used the math column to work out the difference between two dates, and it required a bit of wrangling and setup in order to do so. Now we have a really simple column called the date difference column. Just select two dates and the unit of difference, and you're done. And finally, for the general updates, We've been doing a lot of work on our template ecosystem, making faster previews, better submission processes, and the ability to share and work on private templates with your team. As you know, we launched Pages last year, a powerful new way to build data-driven web apps specifically for desktop use. Pages is still only six months old, but we're seeing a lot of engagement with it in Teams. People are building portals, dashboards, directories, landing pages, and so much more. Our Pages team have been really pushing the product forward with some amazing new features, so let's take a look at some of them. Pages now has a Kanban collection that allows you to group and interact with your records in a Kanban layout. Typically, Kanban boards are great for displaying different categories and letting users quickly move items between groups or stages. We've also added a data grid right into Glide Pages, almost like a mini data editor. You can use the data grid to show specific columns and set them as either view only or editable. When Pages launched, we shipped it with containers, a new way to organize and style your components. This quarter, we added layouts, giving you the ability to display components side by side in different arrangements. This creates huge flexibility, and we can't wait to see all the different things that you do with it. Web View lets you embed other websites, or even entirely other web apps inside of your page. For example, you can have Calendly booking pages, Intercom, or even tweets. And finally, one of the most requested pages features, charts. Now pages can display full-size, beautiful charts to display your reports and progress much more visually. So that's a look at Q2 in Glide. Let us know in the comments what your favorite features were and what you're hoping for in Q3, and hopefully we'll get to some of them. We'll catch you guys soon.